measuring arterial stiffness, we do have to use several parameters. One of the most uh, important parameters is the aortic pulse wave velocity. As it is well known that the aortic pulse wave it is physically like a tsunami, so this uh, pulse wave it's a pressure wave propagation which runs through the aortic wall through the generated uh, systolic ejection from the left ventricle. Consequently, the more rigid, I would say, the more stiff or stiffer the aortic wall is, the faster the pulse wave propagation and the faster the pulse velocity. We use the term regional pulse velocity because we do have to estimate the whole region of the aortic pulse wave, which starts at the aortic root until the aortic bifurcation. So we are talking about regional aortic pulse velocity. In young age, the aortic pulse velocity, of course, is normal. That means it's low because the aorta is soft and elastic. And due to the aging, unfortunately, our arteries are getting to be older and older and stiffer and stiffer. Especially, this is dedicated for the aorta because the aorta is a typical vessel in the human body which contains no uh, muscular layer or very small muscular layer, mostly containing elastic fibers and elastic uh, parts. Thus, the aorta is a typical artery of the elastic type artery, while other arteries are more muscular type, containing muscular uh, layer. So, the aorta and aortic pulse velocity, as I have said, it is in a strong relation to the aortic stiffness. For this reason, today in the science and in the practice, we do measure aortic pulse velocity to estimate the aortic stiffness of the patient. We do have a threshold according to the European Society of Hypertension and European Society of Cardiology guidelines issued in 2013. We all agree that the 10 meter per second is the highest threshold of the aortic pulse velocity. And above that level, we consider the aortic pulse velocity to be pathological. And the consequence of the high aortic pulse velocity is that the patient is in the high risk of the cardiovascular disease. And what is important, this kind of risk is independent from the traditional risk factors like age, smoking habit, systolic blood pressure, cost cholesterol level, and the gender. Assessing the aortic pulse velocity, we do have several methods. One of them, the oscillometric method, which made very simple and very easy to perform the arterial stiffness measurement and the aortic pulse velocity measurement using only a simple upper arm cuff. And this kind of method revolutionized or capabilities and possibility implementing the aortic stiffness measurement and aortic pulse velocity measurement into the daily routine and practice.